Today on All Things Mavs, we've got news on Willie Cauley-Stein potentially putting roots down in Dallas, Dorian Finney-Smith playing the center position in Orlando, and is Mark Gasol going to be in a Dallas Mavericks jersey this summer? All that and much more coming up right now. All Things Mavs. Now here on All Things Mavs, we've got one of the most diverse audiences all across chat sports. And so I want to know where you're watching from, whether it's the United States, Slovenia, Germany, Latvia, whatever country you're watching from, let us know in the comment section. If you're watching from the United States, what state are you watching as we broadcast live from Dallas, Texas? Now let's talk about Willie Cauley-Stein because there's some news on him switching his agency. He is signed with Young Money. That's right, Young Moolah Baby. And they are a Dallas-based company. Now, of course, Willie Cauley-Stein with the Mavs right now, but he's got a player option this summer. So could him signing with the Dallas-based company mean that he wants to stick around in Dallas? Well, we'll talk about that more here in just a minute. But what has he done in Dallas so far? Well, it hasn't been that impressive. I mean, he hasn't played in that many games. He's had limited time, number one, because Rick Carlisle doesn't love a center that can't shoot, but also number two, because he's been dealing with some new, a new baby on the way, so he hasn't been around the organization that much. Five points per game, four rebounds per game, but in very limited amount of action. Now, that $2.3 million player option becomes really interesting because Kali Stein hasn't proven himself in Golden State. He didn't really prove himself in Dallas. So is he going to be able to get even $2.3 million on the open market? Well, personally, I wouldn't be mad if he picked that option up because if you look at what Dallas really just had to give up to get Willie Cauley Stein, it started with that Oklahoma City trade, which they traded away Isaiah Roby and uh, to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Justin Patton so they could clear up a caps, uh, uh, excuse me, a roster spot and some cap space. And then after they made that move, they made a subsequent move for the Golden State Warriors in which they traded their second round pick that came from the Utah Jazz for Willie Cauley-Stein. So you gave up a second round uh, pick in Isaiah Roby. You're giving up a like number 50 pick in this next draft. I wouldn't be mad if Willie Cauley-Stein stuck around for an extra $2 million. And here's the deal. He's not the only free agent for the Mavs this summer. They're going to have some real decisions to make. Tim Hardaway Jr. has a player option, $18 million. I expect him to pick that up, but that remains to be seen. J.J. Brea, one of the veterans on this team, is an unrestricted free agent. He could come back, or he may just say, eh, I'm going to retire and go play some golf out in Dallas. Willie Cauley-Stein, that $2 million player option. And then Courtney Lee and MKG, both unrestricted free agents, neither of which I expect back in Dallas unless MKG has a wonderful showing in Orlando. But another thing with Cauley-Stein, and the reason that I wouldn't be mad if he picked up that player option, is the fact that there aren't a lot of bigs under contract next season that are going to be able to help Dallas out right away. Now Dwight Powell, he is going to be out for at least the first half of the year with that torn Achilles. Boban Marjanovic, we'll see what he can actually do, but Rick hasn't committed to giving him a lot of playing time. Now, Kristaps Porzingis and Maxi Kleba, very reliable big men. They will definitely be back and playing the same roles they are right now next season, but now it's all about Willie Cauley-Stein and that player option for him. I'm in on him picking him up, picking it up. I wouldn't be mad to just keep him around for two million extra dollars. If he opts out, that's two million dollars to play with in free agency, so it remains to be seen. So we haven't seen a lot of them, but do you want him back next year? Do you want to give Willie Cauley-Stein another shot next season? I really think it would help out, especially with Dwight Powell being down, because Willie Cauley-Stein is that pick-and-roll center that can catch lobs. So I'm going to be typing my Y for yes in the comment section, but maybe you disagree, type an N for no in the comment section, whatever you guys think. Now, one guy that will 100% be back next year and hopefully for the next 20 years is Luka Doncic. And if you don't have his jersey yet, I'm not convinced you're a true Mavs fan for life. So this is how you can get one at a great deal right now, thanks to our friends at Fanatics. When you go to chatsports.com slash Luka, real easy, it's his name, number 77. I've got it on my chest right here. You can get 25% off this deal when you use promo code WALKUP with our friends at Fanatics. Now's the time to get one. The price is down. Luka's going to be hitting that real MVP stride when he goes to Orlando, be repping that Luka Doncic jersey all year long. Now let's talk about Dorian Finney-Smith. Could he be playing the center position when the NBA resumes in Orlando? Well, that's what Rick Carlisle has said that he's been doing in practice. He's running Dorian Finney-Smith at the five, but here's the interesting thing. I went in, I dug up some stats. Turns out Finney-Smith has only played the center position 2% of the time he's played this year, so he's not real familiar with it, but now without Willie Cauley-Stein in the bubble and the Mavs going a little bit smaller, he might be able and might have to step up. Now, this year, Dorian Finney-Smith has taken a huge step forward. In fact, 
If you guys watch this show regularly, you know that I'm a huge fan of his game. He's a fan favorite. He plays hard 110% of the time. He's averaging nine points per game, five and a half rebounds, and shooting better than 37%. That was the one part of his game that we were always kind of unsure of. Will it ever come around? Well, the three-point ball came around, and of course, he is one of the best defenders on the team. Now, here's where the original quote came from, from Rick Carlisle. He said, this is from Callie Kaplan on Twitter. She said, Carlisle said, Finney Smith played some at the five today during practice as the Mavs continued to experiment with their thin front court. And then Rick, Rick Carlisle went on to say, we'll continue to look at all that stuff, and who knows? Maybe we'll have an all-guard alignment out there. Look, Rick, if you have all-guards out there, that means you got J.J. Barea, Seth Curry, DeLon Wright, Luca, and Courtney Lee, who's hurt, Jalen Brunson. No, thank you. We need a big man out there. Maybe a Dorian Finney-Smith. Now, when they go to Orlando, their only healthy big man, the only guys that will be in the bubble with them are KP, Maxi, Boban. And then you got Dorian Finney-Smith, who's going to be asked to be a primarily a big man this uh, now with this rest of the season. And then MKG, who we finally found, and he's finally back in the bubble. So, Maybe it does make sense for the Mavs to run Dorian Finney-Smith at the five, especially with the way the league is trending right now and all the small ball lineups. Now, do I love him playing the center position? No, I think we are better suited with KP at the five. But the Mavs go small. If they're getting just run all over the court and they can't have a seven foot three Kristaps Porzingis out there, they definitely can't have a Boban Marjanovic out there. Maybe even Maxi Kleba isn't quick enough. And they want to go real small. I think you could see something like this in Orlando. Luka Doncic, the starting point guard, of course, he's not going anywhere. Seth Curry alongside him playing the two guard and knocking down threes. I think Tim Hardaway Jr. slides to that small forward position with Dorian in the middle. And hopefully, I pray, because I am on Justin Jackson Island, that Justin Jackson will be able to hold his own at the power forward position. Now, am I convinced that's going to happen? Not quite yet. But let's say the Mavs go big, which I think is better suited for this team right now. You got Luka at the one with Tim Hardaway Jr. at the two, and then Dorian Finney-Smith and Maxi Kluba as your forwards, and you keep KP at the five. I think the, this lineup, along with Seth Curry in the lineup and takes uh, Maxi Kluba out, is probably where the Mavs are best suited. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what Dorian Finney-Smith can do in Orlando, but I don't expect him to be the full-time center. That's Kristaps Porzingis. He excelled at that position. The Mavs need to keep him there. But if we need a small ball lineup, I don't hate Dorian at the five. So I'm going to ask you guys, I know a lot of y'all are really inclined to the big lineup. I've seen it on my All Things Mavs page in the comment section. You guys like Boban and KP in there. Well, that's not going to happen that often, I'm going to tell you right now. But which one would you rather see, that big lineup or that small lineup? Type it in the comment section below. Get your votes in now. And if you like big men and you like the big lineup, maybe you like Marcus Gasol of the Toronto Raptors, who could find his way to Dallas this summer, according to Bleacher Report. They say the Mavs are a dark horse to sign the NBA champion, and you know what? I don't hate it. I'll tell you why here in just a minute, but here's the thing. He missed some time with injuries this season. He had a hamstring injury that just really hampered him all season long, but he's a good veteran player, and he's a stretch five, which we all know Rick Carlisle loves, those guys, those big men that can shoot. Now here's what Dan Favale said. He said they'll have the non-taxpayers MLE, the mid-level exception, and the biannual exception. If Tim Hardaway Jr. picks up his player option, if, excuse me, if Tim Hardaway Jr. picks up his player option. Gasol probably isn't taking the biannual exception unless he's landing with a bona fide powerhouse, a.k.a. the Los Angeles Lakers. But at age 35, the Mavs might be able to snag him for a portion of the MLE should he leave Toronto. Now, personally, a portion of the MLE for Mark Gasol, a veteran guy who can knock down a three, I'm all in. And that's assuming a couple things. Number one, Dwight Powell's out for the first half of the season. Number two, Willie Cauley-Stein opts out and he goes somewhere else. And number three, we don't draft a big man. For all those reasons, I'm saying yes, give me Marc Gasol. So if you're in on Marc Gasol for the mid-level, type in. If you're out, type out. It's just that simple. But here's something I'm in on, a sweet deal on a Luka Doncic jersey. I just told you about it earlier, so now you can go get one for 25% off at chatsports.com slash Luka. Use that custom promo code WALKUP for 25% today. Make sure you're repping Luka Doncic and you're repping the Dallas Mavericks because, guys, Basketball is back. Let's talk a little bit more about Marcus Gasol. I said he had a down year, and the numbers speak to that. He only put up 7.6 points per game and 6 rebounds this year, as opposed to 14 points per game and 8 rebounds in his championship year with the Toronto Raptors. Also spent some time with the Memphis Grizzlies last year. And then assist, they've dropped off a little bit. He's not blocking as many shots. The three-point percentage is better, but he's not taking as many, because here's the biggest difference. Marcus Gasol has only played in 36 games this year. Last year with Memphis and Toronto, he played in 79. So 
35 years old, a lot of injuries this season, but he's proven to be pretty durable throughout his entire career. Now, one reason I actually do like the version, the older version of Marc Gasol, is because this Mavericks team next year is still going to be really, really young. Your oldest player on the team is Boban Marjanovic at 31 years old. And then after that, you don't have any other 30 plus year olds. You got Seth Curry at 29. Dwight Powell just turned 29 the other day. Happy belated birthday uh, if you're watching the show. Maxi Kleba at 28. And Tim Hardaway Jr. also 28 years old. And here's the deal, guys. I know we want to go young. I know the Mavericks are a young team with Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis at the center of it all. But you have to have a veteran presence if you want to make some noise in the playoffs. Marc Gasol at 35 for a mid-level exception could be that veteran presence for the Dallas Mavericks next season. So let's say they go out and get Marcus Gasol. He's added to the bench lineup because he's not going to be starting. That's Dwight Powell. That's Chris Alves Porzingis. That's Maxi Kleba. Let's say Marcus Gasol coming off the bench. All of a sudden, your bench unit is a three-guard lineup of Jalen Brunson, Seth Curry, and DeLon Wright. And then you got Maxi Kleba and Marcus Gasol in the middle. That's four guys on the floor that can knock down a three at any time in Brunson, Curry, Gasol, and Kleba. And some incredible defense with DeLon Wright and Maxi there as well. Well, so Mavs fans, thank you as always for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time.